to take a closer look at the situation in Bosnia and Herzegovina. We're joined by Ivana Howard. She grew up in Bosnia and covers the region for the National Endowment for Democracy, a private non-profit organization that promotes democracy around the world. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. So we just heard about increasing ethnic tensions in Bosnia. You recently returned from the region. How tense, how fragile is the situation there? Well, I would hate to sound alarmist, but uh, I do think the situation is quite serious and it de definitely deserves serious attention from the international community, above all the U.S. and the European Union. Is there a chance, do you think, that war will break out again? Well, it depends on what happens over the next few months. Over the last few weeks, what we've seen are repeated calls for, refer for a referendum on secession of one of the entities, Republic of Srpska, by the Prime Minister of Republic of Srpska, Milorad Dodik. Any, such re any realization of such an attempt could not go down peacefully. How do you think uh, that the peace, albeit very fragile, is currently being maintained? Up to this point, it was uh, maintained up until a few years ago, maintained by heavy um, military presence of international forces. However, that has changed over the last few years, and we now have only a couple of thousand of uh, EU forces on the ground. The other mechanism, of course, is the high representative, but the bond powers, which is a special set of powers that he ca has to maintain peace in Bosnia and uh, enforce the Dayton Peace Accords, has been weakened over the, the last few years and is now in question. You talked a little bit about what the international community can do. What role can the Obama administration in, in particular play in that part of the world? Well, I actually uh, have ad addressed this issue um, in a hearing to and an address to U.S. Congress earlier this year. And uh, this is when I really emphasize the need to help Bosnia with its constitutional reforms. That attempt was made by the Obama administration a couple of weeks ago. However, at this point, uh, it, it is considered by many people to have collapsed and to have failed. I'm afraid with the election year coming up in Bosnia, the best we can hope for is for another attempt of this kind including uh, especially Obama administration together with the EU happening in 2011, what but do you probably think, not before. Uh, what do you think are the sort of specific difficulties in trying to get constitutional reform? Well, it, it is simply to get an agreement between the political leaders. And I think this is one of the benefits of, the, of this, even though it, it may have been considered a failed process. It is a benefit and, an, and a lesson learned for the international community at how difficult it is going to be to make any meaningful reform. All right, Ivana Howard, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.